Behind me here is a check that was written by Marilyn Monroe in the amount of $100 during the first week of February of 1953. Well, I was intrigued to look up to see what was going on in Marilyn's life that week, and I found to my delight it was actually a rather important time. It was the week that uh, Photoplay magazine presented their Rising Star of the Year award to her in a big ceremony, a big star-studded ceremony, and Marilyn was making um, gentlemen prefer blondes at the time, and the great costume designer Willem William Travilla designed this spectacular gold lame dress that was so skin tight, Marilyn literally had to be stitched into it. The whole point was to make it look like her nude body had been painted gold. That was the intention. And Marilyn decided to wear it to the event. She purposely showed up late two hours late, as a matter of fact, just in time to receive her award, because she had been warned that if she moved around too much in the dress or she tried to dance in it, it could start disintegrating and falling apart. So she had to be very, very careful in the dress. She got massive attention, as you can imagine, wolf whistles and cheers, and even a standing ovation. Well, much to the chagrin of some of the older, more established stars, this didn't go over so well, particularly with Joan Crawford. Miss Crawford was at a point in her life where she was starting to reach that certain age. She was getting older. She wasn't getting this kind of attention that she used to get, my 20 years before. She was clearly jealous clearly not happy with Miss Monroe, and she gave a rather ugly interview the next day to the press, I think it was to Hedda Hopper, denouncing Marilyn for wearing the provocative gold lame skin-tight dress to the event, saying sexuality should not be thrown in people's faces, and something about Marilyn throwing her breasts out <laughs> into the world, and and Joan said, well, in my day, people knew that a star was a lady. Oh, it was a real dig, and uh, it did not go over well. Marilyn reportedly was quite hurt by it, uh, but she also dismissed it for what it was, and the event was even fictionalized in uh, Ryan Murphy's uh, miniseries Feud about Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. They changed the dates around circumstances, but they did allude to it. So anyway, all of that happened the week Marilyn Monroe wrote this check. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Chuck's Captivating Chronicles.